Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will learn about Microsoft Loop. Microsoft Loop is another productivity tool from Microsoft that allow modern collaboration between teams across different Microsoft 365 apps. So with Microsoft Loop, what you can do, you can share your content with different people and they can work in the different applications like Microsoft Teams, Word Document, Outlook, OneNote provide their feedback in real time. So you are getting all the feedback in real time. You don't need to copy paste or save your information anywhere. Very interesting. And this is going to change how the collaboration work. If you want to know more, stay tuned. We're going to take a deep dive on Microsoft Loop. Welcome back. So let's understand the very first question that came to the mind, where and how I can access Microsoft Loop. So as I said, it's a productivity tool from Microsoft. So to access the Microsoft Loop, the first thing that you need to do, you need to first understand, you will require a Microsoft M365 license. So if you have that license, what you can do, you can go to the loop.microsoft.com, log in with your M365 credentials, and you end up on this particular page that you are seeing on the screen. If you are doing it first time, you may see the only getting started workspace here. You won't see any other workspace that you created. If you have used it before, you will see all these different workspace created. Okay, so before we deep dive into what is Microsoft Loop, how you can use it, let's take a walkthrough of what Microsoft Loops can do. So I'm in my Microsoft Loop area, and I've created a project called Project Phoenix, okay? And in this project, I have these different uh, content. I, I have the different roles, the background of the project, assignments, table. This is a table for assignments. I have a goal, milestones. So different the general content for any project. Now, what I want, I want my colleague to actually update this particular section for me. With Microsoft Loop, what I can do now, I can go to this table and create a loop component for this table. So I click on the create loop component. It's gonna start showing up this, this border that tells me that this is a loop component now. And what I can do, I can copy this component, okay? I can go to the Teams, go to the chat, and paste the link that I copied into the chat box, and you see the magic here, right? So that entire table that we have in here is now loaded in my team. I will send this message to my colleague, right? And if I log in with my colleague ID, so you see here, there's a new message. This is for goal loop. And I can see that same message as the different user loaded in my team chat. So now if you see on this one, on the left hand side, I have my logged in as I logged in Project Phoenix. This is the same table that I shared. On the right hand side, I have the logged, I logged in as my colleague. And I can see the same message here. Now look what's gonna happen. Now, as a user, I can start making changes in here. And if you notice on the left hand side, my actual project table is also changing in real time. Now, this is working in Teams. I can do the same thing in email. So for example, let me send him an email and I can do the same thing. Just copy paste that loop component, send the email. Okay, and now if you see, I received this email and you notice here, I receive the same table in the email and I can start making changes here and you will notice it start working. So this is real time collaboration that's happening and not only in a particular loop area, I can work this in Outlook, I can do it in the Teams and I can do it in other places also like for example, Whiteboard and also OneNote. Now this is the one thing and instead of I'm sharing this just one table, I can share this entire page if I want to, so I can create a loop component for this entire page, and then I can share with my colleagues so they can start working on the entire page, or I can select which information I want the team to collaborate. And different team can collaborate in the different area. So for example, if I'm the project manager and creating this big project, and I'm working with a different team, and they have a different choice of the tool that they want to work with. So for example, some team is using Teams, some teams are preferring Outlook, 
some team is preparing on the Word document, I can copy these loop component and start sending those loop component to that given application. And, and the other people can work there and provide me the real-time feedback. This is really cool. It saves a lot of time. And once I'm done, I can actually just copy this entire information and take it wherever I want. So this is what we're gonna see how you can do it, right? It's pretty cool, pretty standard, and also very simple to use. So now let me go back to the loop.microsoft.com. This is where we started. Before we deep dive, let's understand the different area of Microsoft Loop. So you need to understand three basic things. So in Microsoft Loop, we have workspace, page, and actual component. Workspace, think like you are creating a workspace where you can have multiple pages. So if you are working on the multiple projects or if you are working on a big project, bigger team, you can create a workspace like this default workspace that you get. You can have different pages. So you can see there are different pages created under this workspace, right? Then we have page. Of course, this is an independent page where you can have your content. And then you have a loop component that you can add to these pages. Okay, so basic three basic things. One more thing before we deep dive. If you go to the Teams or any other, like for example, Outlook, you can start creating a loop component directly here. So you don't need to go to loop.microsoft.com. So if you see this small icon in the Teams, you will see this in the team. You will see it in the Outlook web. It's not in the Outlook app. So if you go to the Outlook web, you see here, right, small icon. And if you go to the whiteboard, you can go to three clicks and of course loop component. And if you go to Microsoft OneNote, you can go insert and loop component, right? This is where you can start creating loop component directly into these applications. And of course, who you chatting with or who you sending the emails or who you working with in whiteboard or in OneNote, they can start doing the collaboration in real time, okay? So it's very simple in the Teams, if you go here, you can select one of these. Similarly, in the email, you can do the very similar thing. If I go to whiteboard, loop component, I can use any of these. Similarly, if I go to OneNote, I can do all of these, right? So let's take a use case to understand this better. Let's say uh, I'm working on a big project. The project is starting, right? And I need to create a project page or, or information about that project but I want to collect information from different team. Selectively, not necessary. I want to just ask everyone to come in and start making changes to my core content, but I want to share the respective information to the respective team and ask them to work on those particular areas, right? So what I can do here, I can come to loop.microsoft.com. I can click this, click this plus icon, create my project, give it the name, right? Click continue and if I go back, you can start inviting people directly here if you want them to work in this workspace. If you don't want anyone to access the workspace, you don't need to provide it, click continue. You can also start with a document if you want to. I'm not gonna start with any document, so I'll click on create workspace. That's gonna create a workspace and it will give you one untitled sample page. And this is where you can start adding the content to your workspace. So as I said, I'm gonna create this workspace for a project. Microsoft has already built many templates that you can start using, right? You can of course start from blank and start putting your template structure. But here we're gonna see the template gallery and it's pretty much everything here that we need. So here is something that I found called project planning. I think this is perfectly match what I'm planning to do. So it's have all the information that I need, right? Now, one thing that you can also do, you can either select the template. You can also have, once you have this list of template here, you can always say include content. What this is gonna do, it's gonna also include a sample content for you. So when you do that, you have something ready to work on. You can, of course, update, change it, but that's what you can do. You can also change these images if you want to. There are some available, right? And now if I come into my workspace and look at my project planning page, this page is ready. It has the content also available for me to work on. When you're gonna use a template, it's gonna automatically insert the data that may be applicable to that template. If you don't want to use it, and if you are starting from blank, 
let me add a new page and we will select the blank this time so here you can add the title so on this demo page when you start typing the backslash it's going to open a list of different component that you can use in your loop component so under general section you can add a table you can add a checklist a bulleted list number list date call out table of content this is kind of a navigation that you can build and the divider these are the some basic thing that you can add then you have this text styling so when you are entering a text you can style it you can put the heading code inline code and everything else then we also have these templates these are the templates that Microsoft has built using the existing uh, component that we have so you can have a task list you can also have the boating tab progress tracker Kanban board and other then you can also have the communications where you can actually search for people and some other information image and video uh, you can insert any image and you can also record a video and insert here right you can connect with the, directly with an app so you can add a plan or a task directly into your Microsoft loop component or also you can also integrate with github and some other other apps like Zira and Trello okay these are the things that you can do we're going to take a look on some of the key one and then you can also explore more so for example let's say uh, you want to create a table where you want everyone to insert or provide you the content for so you can use the table here and you can keep adding as many columns as you want so you can see here these these three this small small dot here click that it will keep adding more and more column right you can also show hide column so if you add a column and if you want to share with share this table as a component with other people but you don't want them to see a particular column you can hide that you can expand it so it will take the full width collapse it shorting so basically anything and everything that you can do with the table you can do it here the cool part of this one you can now use this table as a component and share with other people to start filling it up and you can share it in teams in outlook whiteboard OneNote, and, and all right generally you see here this this small like a like a icon here if you click on that this is where you see the create loop component if you don't see this one what you can do you can always click on this expand table and then you will see it and if you want to add more of course click on the empty area backslash and then you will see the other one, checklist right so here you can add a checklist and if you are if you are a developer or in the development team and you guys are working on the code you can also use this code block this is where you can actually type in any of these code select the type what this is going to do the selection it's going to show the code as it was in that IDE so for example if you are using Visual Studio to write your C sharp code if you select C sharp and paste your code here it will look like that you are in Visual Studio let's take an example so I am pasting a code here right and I'm gonna say this is my HTML you see here the color coding and everything is as for the HTML now let's take example of these templates right so for example you don't want to start from the scratch you don't want to create your table or rather you want to use what Microsoft has already built so when you're gonna select the task list look what's gonna do it's gonna insert a table it already have the columns those are required like task name assigned to due date and you see a bucket what this is doing once you start working on this table this box will be enabled and now you see here saying open in planner so what happened when you use the task template it's automatically going to create a planner task list for you so now when the team is working there in your loop component you can see the sample task here that was created here okay and I make some changes here and if you go back to the planner and you see right I can from here I can assign it to someone and as you see here just now I see my name pop in because I added myself here and now it is automatically pulling information planner and showing it here pretty cool and here what I can do now you see here if you don't see this one as I said click on this expand button and it will show up click create loop component and copy the link and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open a Word document in web and actually here I can paste my loop component in my document 
and now I can share this document with my friend, with my colleagues and they can start working on it. So now I can have a live document where people can start working on the content. Yeah, so you see, I am making changes into my Word document. It's reflecting here. And you can share this with multiple people and they can start working on the section that they should be working on. Pretty cool, right? There are many templates that you can use. There are many components that you can use. There are many styling that you can do. You can start anywhere, either at the loop.microsoft.com or you can start in respective applications. But everything is going to be seamlessly synced and at one place. Let's go back to our project planning and we can quickly see how this is going to work. So one thing that I'm going to still show you here, I just type in here so I get some space to select one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select table of content. And you see here, right? It's actually going to create a kind of a table that we generally insert in the Word document. I can easily navigate through my document by clicking any of these link here. Now let's understand the sharing part, right? So sharing is very easy. You can create a loop component for this entire page. So if I do this, this entire page is going to become a loop component and I can share, right? So then I can share the entire page with my colleague or my team. Or I can give them access to my workspace. So I go to the home and then click on these three, three dots, members, and I can give them access to entire workspace. Or I can individually give, give them access to the individual section. So for example, let's say for one particular team, I only want them to work on the roles. So I can create a loop component of this role copy the link and share with my team. Now this link will allow them to actually work on that. So if I go here, this is my OneNote. I just pasted that link here and I can actually easily see the people here and I can start working on, right? And of course, this can be any of my colleague who I given access to this one. And if I come back here, you will, we will start seeing the changes. Now, if multiple people are working on this one, you will see multiple changes that's happening here. Similarly, I can copy, I can create loop component for this text. I can create loop component for this table assignment. Now you see here, there is nothing there which I can click to create loop component. So this is my trick. Click on expand table. Then you will see this three dot select create loop component. You can also export to Excel, but this is like a one directional export so you can export it to excel once everything is done all the changes have been completed you can export it to the excel and do further use of this data that you collected okay so coming back to the use case so if i'm working on this project and i want to share and collect and ask ask my team to collaborate still i don't want everyone to start seeing everything that i'm working on the loop component is the best bet i can select the particular section share with the team into their preferred application so if they are preferring teams outlook microsoft word whiteboard OneNote, they can work there update the content yeah so this is all for the microsoft loop i would highly recommend you to start using it try it and leave the comment if you want to see more specific on a particular app integration so if you want to see more how the loop is going to work in Outlook or in Whiteboard or in OneNote or in Microsoft Teams. If you want to see more, leave the comment. I'll definitely give you more insight. Meanwhile, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.